Beloved in the Lord, it is written in the Gospel of Luke that the Lord Jesus washed, washed and prayed the whole night before appointing and sending the twelve apostles. It is also written in the Act of Apostles that the disciples in Antioch fasted and prayed before laying hands on the poor and Barnabas and sending them out. So also ourselves, as we follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ and his apostles, we must pray before accepting and sending uh, this sister to do the work that the Holy Spirit has called her to do. God and Father, we thank you and give you all the glory, for out of your everlasting love and mercy, you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, who, being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. But how about himself to death, even the dead on the cross? He has taught us that the way to greatness is the same as the world. Send your own Lord, your Holy Spirit, on your servant, 
prophet Isaiah, it is to fall in your footstep. And she embarked on the ministry which you, which we believe you have called her. May she serve with faith, faithfulness and zeal and ever be keen to listen and obey your voice when you exhort them as much as when you repeat them. Grant that the good work you have begun in her will be carried on the completion for the sake of him before whom every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. to authorize you to serve as a deacon in the diocese, in Anglican church, and in all nation Christian church international, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
will mention you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Jesus said, Go into all the world and make people my disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. You have now been commissioned to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, to comfort the troubled, to feed the hungry and love the loveless. And surely the Lord will be with you always to the very end of age. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I present you this servant of God whom we have just ordained as a deacon. Will you support and uphold her in the prayer as, the lead, as she, read, she read a service to God and his church? We will, we will support and uphold her. I present to you this servant of God, whom we have just ordained deacon. Do you receive her into your fellowship? We receive her. Oh, my God. 